This is the second Sunday of Lent, a season of contemplation, a time of turning and transformation. This year for Lent, we focus our attention and our worship on the seven last words of Christ from the cross. Our word this week is here. This word comes from the moment that Jesus looked at his mother Mary at the foot of the cross, standing there with his Aunt Mary and Mary of Magdala. The other disciples had fled, but John, the beloved disciple, was there. Jesus looked at his mother and said, Woman, here is your son. Then he said to the disciple, Here is your mother. Here is your son. Here is your mother. Your family is here, he was saying. What a loving act. Still, one wonders. Jesus had siblings, according to scripture. Where were they? Why did he feel the need to guide his beloved friends to care for his mother? We can imagine that Jesus' biological family had perhaps distanced themselves from him. Like Peter had denied even knowing him when Jesus was arrested the night before, perhaps they were pretending not to know this troublemaking brother of theirs who was being executed by the government. Perhaps they were afraid of associating with him when we look around us today in light of this story, we may want to ask ourselves, in my own life, who is here? Where are the connections of family and kinship for me in the shadow and light of the cross? We are made for connection, created for relationship, the eternal dance of love that is the Trinity demonstrates this to us. But our human relationships with those who are actually related to us, with those who share our family name, may not always reflect that love. As many of us know, sharing a family name with someone does not necessarily guarantee a loving and life-giving connection with them. Sadly, some of us have had to choose between family and integrity, being who we truly are, or doing what we know is truly right, and knowing that our choice will mean being estranged from or judged by our biological family. Sometimes people have to make the choice for their own well-being to distance themselves from biological family. They feel bereft as if they no longer have a home, no longer have a family, no aunts or uncles or cousins or siblings, just themselves. Even when we make that choice and know it is right, it is painful. The gift Jesus offers us is a family connection that does not depend on biology, nor on conforming to an external status quo. This new kinship network is centered in Jesus, the enfleshed love of God. This family of choice is made up of quite an interesting assortment of people of every nation, every race, every gender, age, orientation, political persuasion, theological conviction, and social class. When God gathers us into the church, we become a family of choice, energized and empowered by the love of God at the center of everything. Our kinship is in Christ. Our connection is through the Holy Spirit. God in Christ is here. So we look at one another and say, this is my family. Here are my parents, grandparents, here are my children, here are my siblings, my cousins, my extended family. These people are my home. This is my beloved community. And it is all here.